just a heads up before we get started, if you're from the Captain Kleeman channel, this isn't that. This is the Kleeman channel. It's our little side channel where we talk about working on things that we use to take care of our 20 acres of property and taking care of our 20 acres of property. The Captain Kleeman channel is working on what's behind me, which is a huge spoiler alert and sneak peek for you because this video on the Captain channel, that's coming out tomorrow morning, Monday morning. But today we're working on this. So this is a five horsepower shredder. Look at that fancy paint scheme. Uh, possibly a craftsman, probably not a raft as the label would suggest. This is an older Troy built TB22 two cycle curved shaft weed eater. Both of which I got for free. This was from a fella from work. This was from a fella down the road. Neither one of them says that they run and that they've messed with the carburetor and they just can't seem to get them going. We're gonna jump into them, see if we can figure it out. And yeah, so we're working with HIPAA parts on this one again, and here's the main reason. One thing I've started doing anytime I get one of these used to run but doesn't run now projects, I just get a cheap aftermarket carburetor and throw it on there, and then that just eliminates that out of the equation. If it's my stuff, and I know it used to run, I'll go through the trouble cleaning up the carburetor and that kind of thing, but I don't know what this thing's been through. Instead of trying to problem solve it, I think a carburetor for this one was like eight bucks. Just get it, put it on there and see what it does. Fun fact, if you tell them the wrong engine, they'll send the wrong carburetor. Well, the right carburetor just for the wrong engine and that's my bad. We got her straightened out. We got the right one now. I'm kind of surprised they had this carburetor for this old Tecumseh. Tecumseh or Tecumseh? And dealer's choice, I suppose. Comes with gaskets, fuel line and everything. I'm not 100% sure even if the engine runs what the blades are like. So hopefully this doesn't turn into a Big wheel of death somehow, you know. Is it just turning? It's probably in there good enough. Hindsight, I don't think these had to come all the way out because these holes are slotted like that. I think we can just pull them on and twist it. Future reference. Completely empty, so that's probably not a bad thing. And nothing came out of the fuel line whenever we had that off, so maybe they drained the tank. Trying to clean this thing out at some point. I got this tree heaven grown next to the shop. It needs to be cut down. Wait, this would be a good test for it. Fire up the old raft here. Much depth. What do you think? Throttled up, choke is in. Let's go take a few pulls, get some gas through it. Oh. It helps if it stays put. Okay. enough saw to this fight, huh? at her go she's a chipping chipping champ working pretty good one of my favorite things about these wood chippers is the way that they wind up whenever you first start them absolutely terrifying but one slow steady pull gets that flywheel in there spinning and it pretty much just kind of gets itself going off some momentum but this thing is running great 
I've had wood chippers before, and honestly, they're kind of handy, but they're pretty daggone time consuming too. So unless I had something that I got off Facebook Marketplace that I could actually tow behind a truck that could eat a whole tree, it's just not for me. So this thing's running great. We're gonna list it on Facebook, see if we can't sell it. I'll let you know by the end of the video. Look at that thing go. No. I guess I don't have to make the noise as it does that for me. In a wildly embarrassing moment, but truth to how YouTube works, my SD card corrupted and I lost all the weed eater footage. But here is the new carburetor on here. And I wanna add, I know a carburetor sounds like a scary thing to a lot of people because it just sounds like something a fella doesn't understand. But to change a carburetor out on these little engines, there's not a lot to it. As long as you've got a little bit of common sense and you pay attention to things like which port the fuel line goes to whenever you take it off and you make sure you get the gasket on there and you just have a little mechanical common sense, anybody can change these little carburetors out. You see these units all the time, not this specifically, but gas powered units on Facebook Marketplace for cheap and they just need the carb tuned up. Well, for a few dollars, you can just buy a new aftermarket carb. And this one came with the filter. And this kit didn't just come with the carburetor, but it came with new fuel lines. It also came with, I don't know if you can hear in there, there's a little pickup in there and that soaks up that gas. So whenever it's running low and you're running this thing at all kinds of funky angles, it can still pull some fuel into there and keep running. It came with a new one of those we replaced. So it came with everything a fella needs to solve all the potential let me see if I can pull this out and you can take a gander at it. That little fella right there came with a brand new one of those. And also there's a little cap that came with a new one of those as well. Everything bolted right up, no issues with it at all. The website's super easy to use. And if you do end up getting the wrong thing like I did with the carburetor for the wood chipper, I sent them the wrong engine number, not a big deal. I sent them the correct one afterwards and they sent me another one. We had no issues with it. Let's see if this thing does run though. I want this because I'm 90% sure my expanded set from my Ryobi stuff will fit this. And that gives me another power unit to go with my tools. Let's see if that'll work. So this I'm keeping, the wood chipper, I already sold for a hundred bucks, man. You can't beat it. I got nothing bad to say about their carbs. I got nothing bad to say about their website. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. If you don't, no worries. If you do, great. If it doesn't, let me know. I want honest feedback. I haven't heard anything negative yet about people that have been using their chains. And I've got nothing negative to say about these carburetors. Get you some cheap power equipment on Facebook Marketplace. Get you an aftermarket carburetor. Make you a few bucks or get you a cheap power tool. People are always throwing stuff away because they're afraid of that word carburetor. A few dollars and a little bit of time, get yourself a decent unit.